Rowan used his mind to control the girl, only to be attacked from behind by a mysterious monster. Rowan was killed on the spot. The girl went to the police as the only witness, but things went downhill. The police searched for hours. Rowan's body was never found. No footprints, no blood. There's no sign of a struggle. The sheriff found Wednesday after. I have to suspect that he is lying. They went to the principal's office. Let Wednesday recount what happened. About Rowan's disappearance. The principal thinks he probably ran away. But Wednesday is pretty sure it was the monster that attacked Rowan. Before he finished, the headmaster got up and interrupted him. I think Miss Adams is done though. The sheriff looked at the girl in front of him and thought it was funny. From the headmaster, threatening five minutes of conversation. After the principal leaves, Wednesday bluntly if the body goes missing, someone must have tried to cover it up. In fact, it's connected to the three forest dismemberment cases we've seen before. The sheriff thinks Rowan's the fourth victim, too. Suddenly, the assistant opened the door. To the two people in the house came to the head. Rowan walked in and skated. It's going straight to Wednesday. And Rowan's presence makes Wednesday a liar. He ran into Tyler on his way out of the clinic. Although the girl always felt, as long as you're telling the truth, it doesn't matter if anyone believes it or not. But when he heard Tyler believed him, an inexplicable warm current stirred his heart. This is something Dark Girl has never felt before. But Rowan's resurrection haunted him. He's holding the words that Rowan dropped that night, found a little Macau among them, through the light. A mysterious pattern appears in the top right corner of the paper. He opened the door and went to the principal's office. I'd like to talk to Rowan in person. But the principal told him that Rowan had been expelled. He'll leave on the first train this afternoon. The principal was also very curious about what happened that night, even though the girl has a story to tell. And then the principal went straight for it. He was reminded of an earlier case of a road accident involving a fruit farmer. The headmaster felt that Wednesday must be just like his mother. I can see psychic visions. But the principal warned the girl that the visions were extremely unreliable. It's also dangerous. Wednesday doesn't like to be found out. He came to the yard and gave a gentle breath. The man's eyes burst. The decoration of the principal's office has also been found to be bad. The girl did not make a sound. Wednesday said he didn't hear it because only dogs could hear that sound. To solve the mystery, he needs to find Rowan quickly. Wednesday snuck out of the academy. You can see Rowan. And Rowan said no. After waiting for the car to go, the hand quietly followed behind. Maybe this little thing can solve the mystery. Soon they arrived at the railway station. Rowan walks in front with his hands behind him. But these five fingers can't keep up with Rowan's long legs. I was even slowed down by a piece of gum. He watched Rowan walk into the bathroom. When Rowan closed the door, he opened the door. He turned into a tall, white-haired man. Section guard rushed to the bathroom door. I met a man with white hair, but he knew it was Rowan. Took a few small steps into the toilet, only to find no one inside. Soon the white-haired man entered the secret underground tunnel. When no one else is around, I can't believe I'm the principal. It was the principal's fault for half a day, or why would he do that? But now, it was clearly impossible to find Rowan on Wednesday. So he decided to go to the scene to try his luck. I just ran into Tyler. Not far away, the sheriff was tracking the trail with his hounds. Tyler came along on the sly to keep the hounds from smelling. He also wore coffee grounds to mask the smell. Rowan's acting skills were found at the scene on Wednesday. The moment I touched my eyes, the vision came back. He saw Rowan operating like he was attacking himself. And a purple book keeps popping up in the visions. Finding the book became his next goal. But I searched the entire college library for nothing. With the help of a dorm administrator, Wednesday learned about an old student group called Ying Shi. I heard it was disbanded a few years ago, for unknown reasons. The failure to find the book will have to put the matter on hold. The next day was the college's annual boat race. Put on a kitten post on Wednesday. Join the competition with your roommate. Get ready to teach his hated sirens a lesson. The winning team gets a year's worth of privileges. With a shot from the principal, the game began. The sirens have won the tournament for years in a row. In the game, the ship's modified weapons can be used to launch attacks. The sirens summon their own mermaid foreign aid. He gave a gentle push under the water. We can push the ship off course. Even hit an obstacle and smash the ship to pieces. Sharp Wednesday using binoculars. Sensed something unusual in the water. They were prepared. The broken hand pulls the switch and launches a fishing net. Directly trapped the mermaid in the water. All it took was a fair game for three teams. Soon they came to the other side. They need to get a flag to their destination. To return. Wednesday with the flag. I touched the building next to me. The whole person fainted in an instant. He rose from his feet in a reverie. Look around. I saw a woman who looked just like me. The woman hugged the thick book and told Wednesday. Then a scream woke him up. The siren's party came after them. Wednesday turned to look at the building behind him, left there with questions. On the way back, the Joker squad, because of the werewolf's orders, causing damage to the hull and sinking. There are only two teams left on the water. The kittens release the hull's long guns and prepare to attack the sirens. Being disturbed again by underwater mermaids, it was about to hit the next building. Decisive attack at the critical moment. Jumping into the water, he also moved freely. Took a hard punch at the mermaid. He just knocked him out. The result can be imagined. Kitten Pear uses weapons to stab the siren's boat. He won the championship. The headmaster held a grand award ceremony. Can get used to the sneering Wednesday. 
I can't stand the smile of my classmates. He made a decisive choice to flee. He went to a bronze statue and sat down. When I looked up, I found something unexpected. The pattern on the paper is also printed here. A keen sense of smell told Wednesday. This bronze statue must be hiding something. Late at night, he came alone with the guard shop. As far as Wednesday knows, the bronze himself is known for his penchant for riddles, and the book in his hand should be the mystery. Wednesday showed exceptional puzzle-solving intelligence. Each line of the sentence above is an independent puzzle. He wrote down all the answers to the riddle in his notebook, and their initials are the answer. Snap your fingers twice. Yes, you heard right. Just snap your fingers at the bronze statue on Wednesday to unlock the secret door. Inside is the secret society, the hidden library of. The whole library was covered with dust, and on the bookshelf, there is one place where the dust has changed. Pull out the book inside on Wednesday. Confirmed it's the one Rowan drew in private. He put it in his bag and tried to leave, but when the girl gets closer to the truth, he was covered by a sack and taken into the darkness. 